it's like nighttime right now i'm outside what's up everybody welcome to a new video new vibes on my youtube channel you're always welcome to my youtube channel my name is kiana for those of you who don't know and as always please make sure you guys are signed into youtube to subscribe to my youtube channel click the notification bell to join the notification crew and sprinkle some love on that like button to better help this channel grow so so it's been a while since i posted a new video here on youtube i want to say thank you to everybody who is still supporting my channel um and subscribing it's the second half of the year the first half of the year i kind of took by storm i'm getting back into a much better place with myself if you guys haven't noticed already we are sitting in my car and we are filming at night i decided to film in my car because i felt like it would be an interesting take for me to do a car video i'm excited to be filming again it's fourth of july weekend so you guys might hear fireworks cracking off in the background i do actually plan to go see some after i film this video hopefully i see some on my way back home today's video is going to be a chit chat video and i'm going to be discussing some words of wisdom some wise advice from lessons that i've learned in the most recent months also just over the course of the 27 years that i have been here on earth i think it is a very important topic that i don't really see much coverage on i would love to talk about that with you guys today i do hope that this video does help somebody else out there what actually is wisdom wisdom is essentially wise knowledge that you apply you know right from wrong but if you are not applying and practicing the best habits for you then it's not wisdom it's just gonna be of no use i brought my holy bible the book of all books this is my bible i'm a christian woman which is something that i don't really talk much about on my channel this is the new international version and i love the simplicity of this bible i always wanted to have a white and gold bible i have this one and i'm gonna be reading some scriptures i went through some things earlier this year and recently i've just been really uninspired to create so i decided to take some time for myself to just reflect on my experiences and extract the lessons that i needed to learn and also create a better me i feel like there's something so appealing about young people who are wise and have been through a lot but they don't allow it to bring them down they just learn the lesson and then keep it pushing please don't take any of these things personally that i'm going to be sharing these are just some things that i personally have been through that i have learned about myself and help me make more sense of the world don't take anything personally if it doesn't apply to you it doesn't apply to you and that's just that first words of wisdom that i want to share with you guys is god bless the child who has his own this is something that my mother has continuously stressed to me over the years which i feel like has made me a more independent woman i've always been a rather independent person but i think when my mom stresses that to me it truly makes me realize that i really don't want to depend on anybody for anything it's perfectly fine to ask for help whatever you can do and you have the capability to do it you should do it you shouldn't fall back on anybody else to do for you the things that you need to do for yourself usually it backfires when you go about it like the easy way even though we're all here to serve a purpose which is to ultimately help other people i just always like to have in the back of my mind like i have to have everything for myself my second words of wisdom is to be careful who you call a friend not everybody is your friend and i feel like this is cliche i feel like most of us know this but maybe haven't actually come to terms with it yet every one of us has probably experienced a 
friendship, heartbreak, or failure, or whatever in their lifetime before. I've always been the type of person that people naturally gravitate towards that makes it easy for me to make friends. However, I have not found a solid friend that I can say is like truly my friend to the end. And it sucks because I had to keep learning this lesson. It is strongly advisable to use caution before calling anybody your friend off of the initial encounter. You guys might like really hit it off really good, but you can never really be too sure of somebody's motives and their intentions. Friendships really take time to develop. That goes for all types of relationships. Meeting somebody and like liking them and they liking me and sharing a lot with people that I should not be talking to. I learned to turn to God in those moments where I'm vulnerable and I really need a friend to be there to count on. In those moments, I'm always going to turn to God. I've been backstabbed before. I've been lied on. It's all a part of life, but these are things that I have to learn. Me being wiser now, I know now to not be as trusting as I once was. Venting to others, like be careful who you vent to. Do not vent to everybody. I know it feels good to kind of like feel like there's somebody there that you can run to and vent to about your issues or problems or whatever you're going through but I I feel like it's really important to also just sometimes just take a step back relax and kind of like go within and pray about it you're gonna find way more peace than going to vent off to somebody that might give you a temporary feel good in that moment and then you think that the situation is over with but watch that situation come back up again and you haven't dealt with it you haven't healed from it you didn't pray about it there's no real purpose of venting to other people unless you just want to be heard and if you're okay with sharing certain information with people then that's on you that's up to you not everybody is equipped to help you with your particular situation some of your family and friends don't even really know what they're doing to be giving you advice and you could be taking in the wrong advice and it wouldn't be of any good service to you use your discernment on what you believe is to be the best thing for you go based off of that trust yourself and trust your own intuition also call on god and the holy spirit to guide you towards making the right decisions for yourself my next words of wisdom is to always go with your gut and trust your intuition so if something feels off about someone or a situation or even yourself when you're in a certain situation or around certain people always trust that instinct go with your gut and if you need to remove yourself from that situation I would say go ahead and do that as soon as possible you do not want to wait too long before you leave a situation that is not meant for you it'll only affect you more the longer that you stay here's the first bible scripture that i want to read it is proverbs 4 verse 6 through 7 it is do not forsake wisdom and she will protect you love her and she will watch over you the beginning of wisdom is this get wisdom though it costs you all you have get understanding i really like this scripture because of how it emphasizes the importance of getting wisdom it says she will protect you she will watch over you wisdom saves us so much trouble heartache so much time if we would just work on actually being more wise we would save ourselves a lot of trouble the next bible scripture that i want to share with you guys is colossians 2 verse 2 through 4 it reads my goal is that they may be encouraged in heart and united in love so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding 
in order that they may know the mystery of God. The reason why I chose this scripture is because it's kind of the, the purpose of why I'm making this video in the first place is for others to be encouraged by the word. The last scripture that I'm going to read for you guys tonight and that I'm going to leave you with is in James 1 verse 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. If you're unsure about where to get wisdom, my advice is to pray about it and ask the Lord to give you that wisdom for whatever it is that you are asking for, whatever you're needing it for, because as it says in the Bible, that God will give you that wisdom generously without finding any fault. That is my advice on where to find wisdom or where to get wisdom if you feel like you are in need of receiving those downloads. A huge lesson that I had needed to learn that I need to learn still is to not react off of negative emotions. As a woman, I believe I tend to be a little emotional, but I think I'm also, I've just naturally been somewhat of a crybaby since I was young. I'm a middle child, so I feel like that also plays a part in how I was raised and how I grew up. A lot of times when I might not get my way or when I feel like something should be done a certain type of way, I, or you know, if I'm uncomfortable, like I might react negatively or if I'm in a negative situation or if there's something negative going on I might respond or react to that situation negatively and that is something that I have to wisen up about that's also another word of wisdom is to not react to negative with a negative I need to figure out better ways to just calm down and think logically about a situation before I just go do whatever I feel is best for me at the time. Yeah, and lastly, I want to just say trust in the signs that are there and that are available to you. Always follow the signs of life that are indicating to you when something is good or when something is off or when you just need to really tune in and listen and focus on what that sign is telling you. I leave you with this please make sure you guys are getting your wisdom and getting understanding and pray about all things hope you guys enjoyed this video